Decisions people make and act on depend intimately on the ideas and feelings they have. Therefore, to influence a person's decisions, we first must address their underlying beliefs, emotions and perceptions. So when the Nigerian Urban Reproductive Health Initiative set out to improve women's health by increasing the use of contraceptives, we started by exploring people's ideas and feelings about family planning. Our initial results helped us identify a set of specific ideas and feelings that predicted whether a woman would or would not use contraception. The more of these predictors that a woman had, the more likely she was to use family planning. This concept is known as ideation. And what were some of these specific predictors? When a woman knew about family planning, when she had a positive attitude towards it, when she had fewer mistaken beliefs about it, when she talked to her husband about it, when she believed that her friends wouldn't criticize her for using it, and when she approved of religious and political leaders speaking about it, then she was far more likely to use it herself. We utilize these predictors to build messages for our strategic communication program. Using ideation in our efforts has been successful. In fact, the results have been measurable. Over 300,000 women who were previously at risk for an unintended pregnancy are now using family planning. Between the baseline and midline research surveys, levels of modern contraceptive use increased in all four program cities. This has allowed Nigerian women to have more control over their reproductive lives, which is good for their families and communities as well.